Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome back to Demon Souls. Uh, I'm a bit nervous about going through here. Uh, we've seen a bunch of spider webs, and I can only imagine what we're about to deal with. But uh, yeah, oh yeah, oh shit! What the hell? Whoa. Okay, at least I can dodge these. Oh my god. Oh, he's- I've been webbed! Son of a bitch! Okay, that's probably a good reason not to get hit by those. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa! Okay. You're gonna let me hit you there. What do I do? Okay, he's got like a little scissory... A little scissory thing. I should maybe just try dodging that. Uh... Does he throw more fireballs? I'll dodge! Whoa! Whoa, Jesus. Look at the- Are you kidding me? Look at the range on this. Shh. Okay, I need to not be getting hit by that. Oh. Okay, hold up. Hold on. Whoa, son of a bitch! Are you kidding? This is not good. I gotta get closer. I wonder if I should... See, he's throwing fire, but... I also don't know if maybe I should use the other stuff, because it does, like, magic damage or whatever. Okay, that is some shit! Oh, my god, how do I get close to this thing? At least I can block those. Whoa. Can I get in there? I better heal up here. Okay, so when he does that little wiggle thing, I think that's my time to shine. That needs to not happen anymore. Oh, frick me. Look at this! Oh my god! Okay, so... We're figuring out a few of his things here. I'm gonna- I'm gonna try... ...using some of this stuff. Let's get in there. Come on, man up. Whoa! Whoa, that was damn close. Do your little wiggle! Right there! Oh, that's what I'm talking about! Uh-oh. You missed! Oh, damn it. Come on! Thank God we can block that. Oh, God. Oh, my God, this is so scary! Oh, that's gonna hit me, isn't it? Nope. Maybe? Jesus. Whoa! Okay, let's dodge some of his BS. Oh shit! Alright, come on, brother. I think that sticky white stuff was actually kind of helping. I can't really get in there until he does that, that thing right there. I don't know what I would call that. He actually seems kind of manageable here. Oh shit. Oh no! Whoa! 
Now it's this part if I get hit with some of his goo. Oh, there we go. Got right in there. Come on. Let's take our time. Oh, we got him. We got him. That was actually kind of okay. <laughs> Still feels pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Armor Spider's Trophy, baby. Yes, and had I known that there was something over here, actually going over here would probably be a death trap. I wonder actually, well, no, maybe not. Actually, could I hit, could I have hit over here when he was throwing his fire things up front? I'm not sure. If you press onward, oh god. Did we pick up anything from him? Iron Demon. Chunk of Spider Stone. I find it interesting that there is specific... <laughs> yes, I kind of did. You got me. You got me. I find it interesting that there are specific upgrades for bows. Um... Like, it's probably a pretty... Now, how come I don't have a soul for this guy? Because we got the... the Phalanx soul. We got the Tower Knight soul. Oh, here we go. Hard Demon Soul and Pure Spider Stone. Let's check this out. Soul of the Armored Spider. Wow! Okay. Grants the holder a large number of souls when used. Alternatively, it can be made into spells, miracles, or weapons. All the same stuff. Radiates a strong power. I really gotta figure out how to get that stuff happening. Actually, first of all... Oh. Beware of trap ahead. Okay, hold on. We're in a good spot here. Let's hit this. Head to the Nexus. And then from there, uh, we'll do some upgrades. We will... Um, maybe... Yeah, no, we have a bunch of upgrades that we can do to the Halberd. And somebody shared a really cool tip with me. So I'm going to test this out. I should be able to store all of my uh, shards and stones and things like that. But then the blacksmith should still be able to actually access them. Because essentially they're right next to each other. So that kind of makes sense. But, uh, I would never have thought of that. I would have got them from the little guy and then deposited them and, you know. So I'm gonna dump all of my stones Thank in goodness, here. Yeah, I was worried. Uh, let's see. I don't imagine these souls are worth a lot. Or, uh, weight-wise. Yeah, nothing. So we'll just keep those. But these... We can drop them all in there. Like, we got so much. We are indebted to you, for you fight on our behalf. I sure do, pal. Stone that radiates light. Yeah, Jerry made all these weird things. I can forge whip. Okay, so now... We could go Halberd... Plus two... Look at all these hard stones we have. It's incredible. Let's do it. We might as well make a really powerful weapon for now. Ooh, quality halberd. Wait a second. So if I go to quality halberd... Let's actually read the You'll description. Come back a lot of hello again i'm keeping of that one thing let's see here an ore which requires skill and ex expertise to make high quality weapons with weapons can be strengthened by clear stones up to a maximum level of 5 hmm 
So why would I go into this one? Hmm, really tough decision here. You have a heart of gold. I can f Well, I'm never gonna figure it out unless I just try it. So we're at 133 now. This will drop us to 109. But maybe this would actually change. Oh, look. Okay. This changes my scaling a little bit. This makes it so that my dexterity impacts um, the scaling as well. Which is not something I plan on investing a lot in, so I have to wonder. I have to wonder if that's worth it. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll keep going on the regular path with this one and save the quality for some other type of weapon that we can maybe find down the road. And now I'm out of hard stones, but it's good. We're dealing a ton of damage. Do come back alive. I need your business. And now what I want to do, where is she? There she is. I want to get my endurance up quite a bit because I want to be able to use this shield. This steel shield. It's 100% block. Um... But does it have... Where is it? Guard... Yeah, the guard break reduction is, is a little bit higher. So that brings me to... Equipment burden... <laughs> 45 out of 43. Look. Oh! Okay. Thou then Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. There we go. I think that should do it. Yep. We're still kind of like big time rolling there, but that's okay. Let's now uh, let's drop. The Chris Blade, the Mail Breaker, the Pickaxe, and the Heater Shield. I'm actually running a bit low on arrows as well. I- it turns out I didn't actually need the Poison Resistance either. Yeah. Oops. I didn't mean to actually deposit that with you. Hello again. I'm keeping- You have a heart of gold. And now what I'll do is I'll buy some I more arrows. So we have that going. Sixty-four arrows? I think that's pretty good. That'll last for a while. Do come back alive. Okay, so now now. I want to go back there. Thou seeketh soul pop, then touch. Do you have anything else you can I tell me? The candles. Not really, hey. I shall await thine return. What about you? Have you met the last surviving monumental? I have. Those fools revived the old one on a whim. And now they've trapped us here in the Nexus in a desperate attempt to undo their mistake. Oh, so you're not a fan. Steve, if you ask me. So they're not happy to be here. I thought everyone was kind of cool with this. Well, maybe this guy, he's he is like a little bit of a depressive. Well, but. you found yourself a demon soul, did you? I'm impressed. Yes, indeed I am. Tell me what to do with it, please. Stay the path, and you will soon be a monster yourself. <laughs> Can't you see you've fallen for their trap? Dude, this guy just keeps raining on my parade here. You... Have you seen my corporeal flesh? Has my body gone rotten? I'm sorry. Okay, great. Uh, I'm gonna head back to... I th is it... Th this is the one. Yes. 
Uh, below the smithing grounds lies a huge tunnel worthy of its name. It's, it's honestly, it's kind of tempting to go back through here just to get the, um, just to get the stone drops. But we're still in the little mine area, so I imagine... Oh, what? Below the smithing ground lies a huge tunnel worthy of its name. It said a dragon's grave is in the deepest part of the molten area. Great. That is just super duper. Uh, it did appear, though, that that sticky white stuff was helping me with some damage. I could have tried the fire, but being that he was fire-based, uh, wouldn't really make a lot of sense. But I do have to remember that I have those. I don't have a lot of it, but... Oh, hello. Oh, you son of a bitch! Come over here! Come here! Oh! Oh, I'm really pissed off. I couldn't catch him. I kind of thought that this would be dealing out a little bit more damage. Than it is. Whoa! What the hell hit me there? Son of a bee. What hit me? Something, something fiery hit me, that's what. I kind of thought this halberd would be like crushing these guys, but I'm still having to dish out a ton. Oh, look at that health, oh my god. I guess it's a little bit better. And I can probably get four hits in. Off a full, uh, endurance charge. Wow, you hit really hard. Oh no, it- this- It looks like this thing came and hit me. I don't know how. What the hell? What is going on here? I'm running low on pharmaceuticals. Whoa. Okay, well that makes me kind of want to check this out. If it gets close to me... There we go. Wow. This is probably pretty dangerous. I should pro- uh oh. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, uh, I hate that I can't stagger this guy. Full moon grass. Okay, well I traded a half for a full, basically. It's okay, it could be worse. Could have traded a half for nothing. Got another platform. Augite of guidance. What do we have here? A stone that radiates a guiding light. Temporarily radiates light when it comes into contact with air. It is prized as a one-of-a-kind jewel, but with no use in crafting, it is mostly employed simply as a guidepost. So I guess if it gets really dark, I could use it. What the hell? How do we... Oh, Jesus. Okay, hold on. This is looking pretty major. I want to go clear out the other side. I feel like there's no real reason for me to... Well, it could go both ways. I, I was going to say, I feel like there's no reason for me to use the Stone of Ephemeralize. Uh, to go back to full health. Because if I die, 
I'm just gonna go right back here anyways. But, I think it's good to use before you enter, like, what could potentially be a boss or something. Yeah, get the giant shield, two hands everything. Alright. What's in that sack? Spider stones. There we go. Thank you. There's a whole bunch of them. No, I, and I can't get four off. Unfortunately. Damn it! Like, I almost feel like I'm doing less damage with this thing. It's really weird. Maybe these just guys just got really strong back here? That could be it. Like, I don't have two halberds, do I? Yeah, look, halberd plus four. That's really strange. Hmm. I guess maybe I was just expecting a larger damage output, but... Use projectiles on the next enemy. Goodbye. What is this? Oh. Looked like an armadillo. Well, where does this take me to? It's not helping me. It's really interesting to see those ghosts, because... It's pretty, uh... Uh-oh. Oh, you're kidding me. I have to jump on that? Don't know if I like that very much. Oh, God. Think hard. Okay. Uh... Okay. Come on. We're good. Take a step forward. I don't think I like that idea. But maybe I have to? Shit, this is bad. This is not good at all. Probably about to die here. Oh, maybe. Okay, good. I guess maybe being in soul form, we drop a bit lighter. Okay, I could drop off here. I 
I have to wonder if if we couldn't have just taken that elevator down and ended up in the same place. Oh. Okay, we're alive. That's promising. Ring of disease resistance. Well, that's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? Uh, soft ring bearing a dark purple seal increases resistance against plague. Okay. Um... Plague resistance, 17. And if I throw this on... Takes me up to 68. Okay, but actually I should be using the cling ring here. For sure. Serious? This is really testing me right now. Oh, damn it. No, that's. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Jesus. I keep thinking I'm gonna die every time, but. We actually can sustain pretty big falls. Not like I really want to, but. Okay, let's go here. Like, this is dark, man. This is really dark. If I go over there... Take a step forward again. Farewell. Oh no, really? I feel like this is bad news. We've got a ladder. What is that little shining noise? Like it's shimmering or something. Where does this take us? Oh jeez, I didn't even notice. What is that? Oh shit. That's gonna kill me. Wow. Okay, well, uh, interesting. Quite interesting. But... I think... I'm gonna go that way now. Or wait. No, where is it? Yeah, we're gonna go left. I think. Cause that seems like... Pretty certain death wish. I can get five hits in single-handed. I'm gonna try and set these off. Oh, shit! That is not the way to do it! Really low on crescent moon grass, too. All types of grass. Damn it. This is just like, this is just punishing. Okay, come on. Oh! It killed me. Damn it. Okay, well. Let's try, I just want to clear that out before we stop. I want to clear out those little... Fire things because if I take a break, that's gonna pain me to come back to. Uh oh. That is really difficult. 
I don't- I didn't have this much time or this much trouble the first time I ran into these. But now. But now. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, there. Okay. We're safe. So now, I'm gonna try this other, uh, tunnel area. Or not tunnel, elevator. I have a feeling that the, that dropping down area... It reminds me of the tree in Blight Town. Oh, forgot about you. God damn it. Okay, this is bad. It reminds me of the tree in Blight Town that I tried to descend at one point, but then... I... Similar situation. I got killed in, and never desired to go back, but... I feel like we could probably do that, I just shouldn't attack the things on the wall. So... We'll see. But there's also... there's this... And then there's also this area, so I think what I'll do is I'll head down here... When we come back, and then I'll take the, uh, elevator thing next time. Alright. Thanks, guys. We'll see you, uh, next episode. Bye.